What if you have bread that is unedible? At least at the moment, it's unedible. Can you use that bread for lechem mishti? I have two chalot. One of them is regular. I can eat it straight away. The other challah is frozen. I just took it out of the freezer. It's impossible to eat it. So the halacha is that since the frozen challah will get defrosted, and when it's defrosted, you could eat it, even though you can't eat it right now, you can use it as lechem mishnah. I suppose that the greater honor for Shabbat is to have two lechamim, two breads, that can be eaten right away. And therefore, you should try to avoid using uh, for lechem mishnah frozen bread. Nevertheless, if uh, there's no other bread in the house, you can use the lechem mishnah, you can hold the lechem mishnah if one of the lechamim is frozen and at the moment unedible. The same thing is true for bread that became stale and, uh, I mean, you wouldn't ordinarily eat it. But I guess you could, you could put it in the soup and you could, uh, you know, it, it would then become, it would then become edible. So that any, any uh, bread that you have, of course, I mean, this doesn't include uh, uh, bread that has, that is moldy. Uh, people don't eat that kind of, uh, that kind of bread. But you can eat, uh, eventually, even on the same Shabbat, the frozen bed or the dry bread, even though you wouldn't want to eat them just yet. Nevertheless, nevertheless, they are acceptable as lechem mishnah elements. Right? You have two loaves of bread, one of them is edible, I mean, you can eat it right away, and the other one is not edible, at least not at the moment, you can't eat at the moment, those two breads can form the basis of the Lechem Mishnah that you're going to use, that you're going to use on Shabbat. Um, I remember in my house it happens uh, not infrequently that if you have a lot of guests, if you have guests that are unexpected or guests that have an unexpected appetite for challah, that when you get to Sudash Lishit, you might not have a bread left except for the one that's in the freezer. And the one that's in the freezer is truly frozen and it's impossible to eat it as it is. But you know, time will pass. Not too long, but time will pass. And that bread will become uh, an edible bread. So it's certainly usable in emergencies for Lecha Mishnah.